Hi there and uh, welcome to this. This is a quick uh, tonal drawing demonstration. Um, this was filmed as part of my series on becoming a better artist by practicing drawing. So I've left the link below if you're interested in uh, seeing that series. Um, so I wanted to show how to um, apply some of the ideas I talked about um, regarding tone into an actual study. And uh, so this is a, a sort of countryside scene. This was actually where I used to live out near Chelmadiston. I didn't actually live in that house, but this was very nearby. And uh, I was going through some old photographs and I thought this might be a nice one to have a go at. Um, so one of the things I was saying with tone is you really need to take a very simplified approach. So to help that, what I did is I took the original photograph and I turned it black and white and I then increased the tonal contrast. So most phones or computers will allow you to do that with your photographs and it actually makes for better reference often when you're doing tonal sketches. As you can see, it's got a nice, um, nice level of darks and a nice light sky. So what I did there is I created a little tonal scale at the side of my drawing. Again, a nice way to make a start. And today for this drawing, I'm using compressed charcoal. So compressed charcoal is a bit like a chalk. It's very dense and I'm using it here in a very specific way. So what I'm doing first is I'm laying in what I would call the darkest darks, okay? So if you squint your eyes, um, the banks of the road and the trees, they all form the darkest aspects of this composition. So I'm using the compressed charcoal to block those in. And the thing with compressed charcoal is when you lay it down like that, it's actually very hard to um, erase. And there I'm wiping it across. Now what that does is it gives me effectively a mid value, okay? So I've created my darks and I've laid in now a mid value. Um, so I'm really thinking initially, instead of like 10 tones, I'm really thinking more something like three tones, dark, mid value and light. So now I am using the uh, putty rubber so as I was saying, um, compressed charcoal, when it's applied directly to the page, is very difficult to rub out. However, if you wipe it in the way that I've done there, in the areas where it's been wiped, you can actually rub that out fairly easily. Um, so it's something I quite like to do for these tonal studies, is uh, get those darks in then wipe the page to create the mid values and then start pulling away the lights. And then the subtlety um, can emerge after that. Okay, so I'm working into this. So as I say, the trick with tonal drawings is to squint your eyes. Um, you squint your eyes and you're trying to take um, often quite complex tonal arrangements and really boil it down to their um, the most basic, um, just a few simple tones. And in a way, one of the main things I like here is the fact that the road, um, the road is a mid value and then it's surrounded by these dark trees. And then that, that bit of light in the sky um, that's really making the whole composition sort of pop out. So that's what attracted me to this particular scene. And this is where you have to get good reference. So um, you want reference that has this nice, strong tonal contrast. Um, and that takes, you know, you have to go out with your camera, take your uh, phone with you when you go for walks and get used to um, taking photographs. And it can be useful to go for a period where you switch your camera um, to black and white mode um, and just start to see the world more in terms of tone and that will help feed into your uh, your drawings. Okay, so now I'm, what I'm doing here is I'm sort of cutting into the shapes with more tone and even though I'm sort of working within the darks, it's helping to sort of separate the forms slightly. So having established the the general pattern, 
Um, now I can start to use the blending stump and start to make things a little bit more subtle. So I really like this way of working. If you've seen any of my portraits, um, this is something I do in portraits as well, um, is use the uh, compressed charcoal like this. And the compressed charcoal also, um, it creates, depending on the paper you use, it creates that grainy effect. Um, and in my talk on tonal, um, tonal drawing, I mentioned uh, Sura and his drawings, and I really like the way he uses the paper and that sort of grainy, granular look, um, almost as part of the composition. It sort of, it gives it a sort of energy, which I really like, so. Um, it's best not, you don't want to blend everything to sort of nothing. It, it can be very tempting, um, but it's nice to leave some of that texture there. So you can see in a relatively short time, um, you know, the composition um, sort of emerges. Now, as I say, I did this really as a demonstration drawing. Um, but I think, you know, if I was to do it again, I would probably, um, if I was doing it in the studio, I would take a little bit more time over my initial sketch. Um, you'll notice that I didn't use charcoal with my initial sketch. I just used a coloured pencil. It might have been a Conte pencil. Um, and that's just really to block in those large uh, masses, the darks and the lights. And this very much follows the principle I've mentioned before, which is um, you're working from the general to the specific. So the large statement about the tonal arrangement is made in the first, you know, in the early stage. Um, you're trying to get that blocked in. Everything now is a bit like icing on the cake. So I'm just adding a little bit of highlight there just to pull the eye around that bend, pull the eye into the composition. And uh, I think that is about it. So yeah, I'd recommend having a go at that at home. Uh, see how you get on and uh, I'll see you again soon.